All right, it is March 19th, and we are headed to Robbers Cave State Park. All right, we got loaded up, got the camper. KC's gonna roll out with us, and uh, we're gonna Storms go. Storms have just passed. Storms have just passed. Out. Sun is, man, I haven't seen the sun in, I don't know, it's been a while. Oh, so, it's been a while. So, my son's got a lot of sugar in him, so uh, we're gonna go try to go out in the woods and burn it off. been doing that for like 15 minutes. What? Nothing, bud. That's what happens when a five-year-old drinks a bunch of sweet tea. Thanks, Nana. We got camp set up. We're getting camp set up. Casey's getting some firewood out of his truck, but pretty cool. Pretty cool campsite. We got the river in the back here. Pretty awesome. KC's a horseman. Told him we need to get some horses down here and go riding. We got camp set up. We're just chilling by the fire. Beautiful evening. The rain has subsided. Check out my light over there. And look at this. Check this out. KC made this light. Look how bright that thing is. It's coming off the stick. Oh, 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 oh. That's pretty cool. He made that for like five bucks. We'll show you how to make it. <clears throat> but I mean, it lights up this campsite. It's pretty awesome. But. The river banks is. We're gonna, we're gonna roast some hot dogs since, we, since my dad didn't actually like. I know, I made a big mistake. I didn't bring marshmallows. Next time when we come in, Pep, can you? Actually bring some marshmallows. Yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll bring them. All right. Good morning. Good morning. He talked himself to sleep. I mean, just he talked and talked and talked, and he just I don't know. KC said I maybe passed out first, and I don't know. I woke up this morning thinking, what happened? Did I go to sleep first or little man? But we're drinking some brew. And uh, I'm gonna take a step outside here and uh, see what we got going on. Hear that sound? That's a good sound. Man, feels nice. We ain't got no plans today. Do a little fishing, a little hiking, and uh, just enjoy the outdoors. But uh, drinking some coffee. Well, just cooking up some, uh, some deer sausage from uh, a deer that we killed this year. So, cooking up some deer sausage and eggs and going to have us a good breakfast. So, Something easy. What we like to do. Nick's got her sausage there. Now he's just getting her eggs. Taking her eggs, cracking them, putting over the sausage. And then we'll add some cheese to it. And then all you need then, you can eat it just like that, which is what we're gonna do. Or you can just throw it all, wrap it up in a flour tortilla. And you're talking about good. Yeah, buddy. All right, we're gonna go look for morels. I got a flower for my mom. Morel mushrooms. We're gonna go look for mushrooms, buddy. Mushrooms? Yeah, morels, they're really good to eat. Come here, River. Let's get the water. Can we get the water? Come over here. Here in a little while, me and Nick's gonna go run over here to this lake and see if we can't catch any channel cat. But um, cheap, very easy catfish bait. Got beef franks, which is just hot dog wieners, and cherry jello. That'll be one bait. And then we got some chicken breasts and mix it with cherry Kool Aid. 
So we got two different types of bait. We've got one is one is just hot dog wieners. Uh huh. And chicken breasts. All right. One's got hot dog. What's it got in the hot dog? Jello. Jello. Hot cherry dog. Jello. And then cherry Kool Aid with the chicken. We're gonna go try these out um, today. Today. So we'll hopefully we'll hopefully we'll get us some yeah. catfish. We going fishing. Y'all ready yeah, to go fishing? fishing. Y'all gonna catch anything? Yeah. You gonna have to, are you gonna show me how to catch fish? Yeah. Well, good, cause I don't know how. You <laughs> can't catch We're at we're at Lake Wayne Wallace. So we're uh, this creek flows into this this lake, huh? The white rod. Just pick that line all the way up to where it's tight right there. I'm getting hit on both of them. There it is. Ooh. They're hitting it, aren't they? Looks like they did. Yeah. Yeah. We got a little catfish. It was a catfish. <laughs> a little bitty one. It. Heck yeah. We caught our first chicken. First fish off the chicken and Kool Aid. Kool Aid. Here, you want to hold it? Here, I'll hold it. You got to hold it. You got to watch out now. These fins right here are very, very sharp. They're very sharp. So is this one. So you got to hold it behind the two fins. You got him? So put your hand just like that right there. It's like this? Nope. Right over the top of that and right underneath this. And then watch this fin right back there. Don't let it stick in the back. There you go. Here. Take a picture of you guys. All right. All right, that concludes that spot. We caught one little cat. Had a bunch of little bites. I think I don't know if it's just a little bitty catfish or what, but uh, caught one little one. And uh, we're gonna go <coughs> explore a couple, couple other lakes in this area. So we're gonna go check them out and uh, see what we can't get into. So we just got done. We the first lake we went to is called uh, Wayne Wallace. This is called Coon Lake, but a beautiful little lake tucked tucked in between the mountains here but we're just kind of exploring checking it out the water is so high I mean there's been so much rain the last week it's just non-stop so this thing is you can see all the trees see all the trees down there in the water and little man's asleep in the back so we're uh we're just cruising around. We're looking at some public hunting here. We got an Onyx pulled up. We're just looking at some, there's some WMA areas, uh, wildlife management areas, public hunting access uh, that butts up against the state park. So we've just been kind of, I've marked that a couple spots on Onyx. So we're just, just checking it out and uh, letting him sleep a little bit. And uh, like I said, just driving around, scouting around for next year. But, uh, about two o'clock um, and uh, we're probably gonna go check out the, the caves here in a little bit so see you in a bit so we're just sitting around the fire river is still asleep he's been asleep for like two hours but I'm, I'm afraid to wake him up but uh, we're just having a good time grilling Hot dogs and marshmallows. Little man, you, he's been wanting to, he is, he's pretty serious about getting that uh, s'more. What weren't you? Look at him. Look at that. That's pretty good. You wanted some marshmallows and chocolate, didn't you? Yeah. And then Brady, Brady's going to camp today. We need another one. We gotta have somebody, yeah. All right, we are at the caves. Robbers Cave State Park. There's a trail that goes up around these caves. Brantley's already up at the top. Robbers Cave Nature Trail. Robbers Cave loaded on this trail is a legendary outlaw hideout. No gunfighters or any historic incidents are documented as having occurred at the cave. 
Yet is the fact that local travelers during the 1865 to 1890 period were often victimized by bands of robbers. Because of the case of secluded location, it is thus likely that I served that it served as an outlaw hideout. <clears throat> Bell Star, who reportedly welcomed outlaw guests to her home, lived in a cabin about 20 miles north of Robbers Cave on February 2nd, 1889. Bell Star was murdered near the town of Whitefield. Her killer was never known. Very cool. My mom was scared to death right here. Robbers Cave! So we made it to the cave. Pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty cool place to hide out, huh? Yeah. You don't even need a tent for this. No. No, it's formed. It's in different rocks. Robber's Cave. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Come on, River. Come down, man. Come here, River. All right, hold my hand. This one's the Nick. sketchy. Nick. Nick. Stone Corral. Stone Corral is you could corral your horses right into here. You couldn't go all the way up in there? You could have. My dad and mommy. Yeah, we were going to take him this way. Yay! It's an epic fight. It's a matter. That's where we're headed now. He is coming up through it. Yeah. Like, the first time they went through it, they sent Landry first. Run, or not, it was run, the other thing. Come on! Come on! Oh, you're good. Just trying to get out of the way. No, y'all just do. Sam, it's a hard to go. Throw it that way. Oh, oh. Let me go. Is River through it already? Yeah, yeah, he's already down there. This is the. That's wild, ain't it? This is the. Um, what do they call it? Ultimate Fort. Yeah, but you know, you have this behind your house. Oh, man. Rattlesnake. Chill. I can't get out of here fast enough. Mannequin? <laughs> Boy, I'd come out of this rock. I wouldn't come out of it. I didn't have a heart attack. You didn't pull me out. You'd have to drag you out, man. Right? Yeah. We're through. Apparently, drop the stick down. Casey's coming. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> I better not eat another marshmallow. <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs> that buckle got stuck. Now we're off. Oh man, man that's yeah. where we started, ain't it? I'm gonna Last go. time I got halfway and turned around, so I'm gonna get on the other side and get him coming out. Got the two old ones dragging up the rear. <laughs> oh, we got one more left. One dragging up the rear. Oh, right, she made it. There's the old slide right there. We went down that.
hamburgers. 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 All right, so we're finished up at the caves, but a pretty cool place. Pretty cool place for the weekend. A um, couple hours from Tulsa, a few hours from Dallas. Um, southeast part of Oklahoma, near Wilberton, Oklahoma. But uh, you can spend half a day a day in these caves just walking around with the kids, um, climbing, getting some good physical activity in. But uh, And then there's lakes within the park, cabins. Uh, nice campsites, trout fishing, several lakes, um, just a cool state park. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. What do you think? I think it's good. You, you like it? Is it fun? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool it was place. Fun. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways.